KBGA Missoula. Thank you for tuning in to Missing Zhongguo. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, ways to cure diseases and uh, sickness and uh, um, an injury. So especially now it's COVID time. Um, Mr. C, how do you try to keep COVID out of uh, your life? Well, I avoid people because people are the number one spreader of diseases that people get. So I stay away from people. I don't mind putting on a mask. Uh, some people say the mask doesn't work. I don't really care, it works for me. I take vitamin D and zinc try to try to eat healthy but some 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 of my eating habits are still a little unhealthy and uh, because I get to because I can work at home I don't have to be around a lot of people so this is really kind of an ideal situation for me I believe what Satra said hell is other people so the, the way to avoid disease is to stay away from people okay uh, how about uh, vaccination is it uh, also helpful well, if there was a vaccination, yes, that would be great. Uh, I think what we have now is kind of a band-aid. It's a little bit of a shield, but I think that it's something new and we need to come up with a new name for it. It's not the same as a vaccine. I was vaccinated against mumps when I was a child. As a result, I've never had mumps, but this so-called vaccine, you can still get the disease. So we need to invent a new name for it. Okay, uh, sure. Um, maybe vac vaccinate? Uh, no, how about uh, vaccina? Okay, but uh, <laughs> whatever the name is, I believe um, with the development of science and technology, eventually we'll have a better one which qualifies to be called a vaccine. Yes, I agree. I believe the same thing, but it takes time. People are too anxious. They, That's they right. want they want the overnight cure, an overnight solution. It's not going to happen. Well, 